right. I look a mess. It's because I've been crying. It's okay, though. Uh, it's a good cry. Um, I just got to Taos, New Mexico. And I'm playing this festival here called uh, the Big Bar Dance. I love this festival. And, uh, but for those of you who don't know, I spent the last 20 years of my life, like coming to Taos with my dad and my sister, my grandparents lived here. My uncle still lives here, but basically literally everybody that was here has passed away except for my uncle and including my dad. And I'm going to cry. God, we're hurt and dirty. Sorry, Instagram. But like. Driving these roads today, like you would think I've been driving for almost 12 hours and you would think like that's so exhausting and boring, but like the last couple of hours, like driving through the mountains and just like <laughs> remembering my place in the back seat as a little kid when my dad was making these treks here, like it was the fucking best. And I started getting really sad. <laughs> I started getting real sad and then I and then all of a sudden these random cows like show up in the middle of the road and that might sound really crazy but like there was this time it was like something we always talked about uh with my dad and my sister I was in the back seat asleep when I was like 10 or 12 and uh, we hit something really hard and I was like and I like popped up my head and I was like, what was that? And my dad said, cow guard. But really he had hit a cow. <laughs> I know that's very depressing. But just the fact that I started like when I was on my trek through the mountains, I just started crying and I was sad. And all of a sudden these like cows just appeared out of nowhere. And, um, you know, we grieve in different ways, but like, I don't know.